Hi everyone, so on the 7th of February 2023, we had the Mental Health Outreach at Otauja School of Science, Oshogo, Ocean State. We spoke with the senior class students on what they need to know about mental health, how they should start prioritizing their mental health, and how important mental health is. So the school has a very conducive environment for learning as you can see we tried getting into the hall that was already prepared for us by the school authority so we addressed the student and then we had a survey among the students on what they know about mental health before we started the session with them Mental health challenges have been identified as the single most common cause of disabilities in youths with the average age of onset at 14 years. There's an increasing recognition that young people operate in a more dynamic world where they face many social, economic and environmental pressures that affect their mental well-being. I'm going to be telling you stories of two students. Of how many students? We also shared stories of students who had mental health challenges and how what they encountered while in school. We shared signs and symptoms of mental illnesses and what the next action should be if they should notice any of these symptoms. We debunked some myths about mental health and also told them how they can prioritize their mental health. And so why is even mental health students? important? You are students, you know that you have to pass your exam. The benefit of a good mental health, it will help you to realize your full potential. As you are sitting here, we have governors. Am I right? When yes. you see, when you hear about mental health, what's the first thing you first think about? Anybody? When you just say mental health, what do you think about? Just raise up your hand. Madness. You think of madness. The student sure had a lot of misconceptions, but we all clarified them. What? Yes, you don't have to struggle in silence. You there is no health so that you are great, you are amazing, you are enough, you are good just the way you are. Don't let anybody say anything to you and make you feel sad. Everybody say, I will be great. I will be great. I will be great. I will be no matter what happens, I will be great. I, will be great. I, will be I was born great. I, born great. I am amazing. I am, I am enough. I am How you can maintain your mental health. I understand that most of you, you want to read your book, you want to go to shop for your mother, you want to answer your father, you want to feel among with your friends, you want to enjoy yourself and you also want to read. So how do you balance all these things? So number one, practice self-care. What did I say? We explained several other ways in which they can boost their mental health and also their confidence. There is no health. There is no health. Always say positive things to yourself. Always say positive things. Always say positive things to yourself. Now write your name on it. You can see this face. If you we also use the opportunity to distribute short positive affirmation notes as a form of self-help and to improve their confidence. The students were advised to recite this every day as this will go a long way improving their mental health.
renew my mind with positive thoughts. I leave my worries. I leave my worries behind me. Behind me. I am enough. I am enough. I am worthy. I am worthy. My thoughts. My thoughts. I'm feeling. I'm feeling. Are valid. Are valid. I am happy. I am happy. I am content. I am content. I am physically. I am physically. And mentally strong. I see the good in myself. I see the good in myself. My future. My future is so bright. My future is so bright. I will live. I will live. A healthy lifestyle. A healthy lifestyle. Now, clap for yourself. After reciting the positive affirmation, the students were given the opportunity to ask questions as many as possible. We ensured we gave adequate answers, replies to all their questions. Some of the students also gave wonderful feedback about how the class impacted them positively. We also got to interview the principal of the school, Mr. Akiluyi Oyebanji, about what he has to say on mental health. Uh, thank you. My name is uh, Akin Luyi Ibanji, the principal of Ataja School of Science. Uh, when we are talking about mental health, it's one of the things that even not only government, individual families are supposed to pay more attention because uh, physically, morally, everything that you can talk about the whole person, the person as a whole, lies on the mental health. Thank you very much, sir. Is there any um, counseling unit or for mental health in this school as at this moment now? No, no, we don't have. But we have counseling units where students can academically and otherwise even go and have their way out. But when we are talking mentally, well, unless we include it now, we do not have it. And I want you, as you are here today, I want you in the next two, three, four months, can still come back to see how students that you talk to now are feeling. And I'm quite sure if you do that one, even they will like you. And uh, the parent and the government can, by that means, know the importance and make it a well thing that needed high attention. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you so much to my amazing and wonderful team who made this happen. Um, yeah, so we are signing off from the school right now. This is to say thank you so much to the school authority of Atalja School of Science for this great opportunity um, to talk with your students. Till next time. Don't forget that there is no health without mental health. Bye.